Bucolic Bliss, Unveiling the Charm of Countryside Serenity. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a beautiful and picturesque phrase, bucolic bliss. This phrase paints a vivid image and is rich in meaning, perfect for expanding your English vocabulary and understanding. Let's dive into the serene world of bucolic bliss together. Before we explore the full phrase, it's crucial to understand the word bucolic. Originating from Greek, bucolic refers to the countryside or rural life. It's often used to describe scenes or atmospheres that are peaceful, pastoral, and charmingly simple. Think of green fields, grazing cattle, and a tranquil environment far from the hustle and bustle of city life. Now, let's look at the word, bliss. Bliss means supreme happiness, often considered unattainable or heavenly. It's a state of complete joy and contentment, where worries seem to melt away. In literature, bliss is often used to describe moments of pure, serene joy that are deeply satisfying. Combining these two words, bucolic bliss, refers to the perfect peace and happiness found in the countryside. It's the feeling of being in harmony with nature, enjoying the simple pleasures of rural life. It's a sentiment often sought after but rarely found in our modern, fast-paced world. This phrase beautifully captures the essence of finding joy in nature's tranquility. Bucolic bliss is often used in literary contexts to evoke a sense of peace and ideal rural life. It's a descriptive phrase that adds depth and emotion to a narrative, painting a picture of an idyllic, pastoral scene. When you use this phrase, you're not just talking about the countryside, you're evoking an emotional state that is deeply connected to the natural world. And that brings us to the end of our journey through the picturesque phrase, bucolic bliss. I hope this video has not only expanded your vocabulary but also transported you, even for a moment, to a serene countryside haven. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about the worlds they can create. Until next time, keep learning and exploring the beauty of the English language.